prophet, Dr. Gabriel Olubumifakeye. How do we say goodbye to this man? This amazing, wonderful man. This man, a man after God's own heart. How do we say goodbye? He was a friend, a soulmate, a companion, a loving, devoted, caring husband. He was a father, a provider, a hero, a guardian. And he was not just a father to a few, he was father to multitudes. He was a prophet, a teacher, a preacher, an evangelist, a mentor, a counselor, a tutor, a role model. No, a role model's role model. He did not own a private jet, but he traveled the world, spreading the word of God. He did not own a radio station, but his voice will be remembered by thousands upon thousands who heard him preach and gave their lives to Christ. He knew the word, he preached the word, and he lived the word. He taught us to be like Jesus, humble, mild, obedient, and meek. He could easily have chosen to dine only with the high and the mighty, but just like Jesus, his life was a lesson in humility. Did we love him? Yes. Do we still love him? Yes. Will we miss him? Oh, yes. But of this we are sure, that he fought the good fight. He ran the race set before him. He kept the faith. So, we do not mourn as they who do not have hope, but rejoice, knowing that he has won the crown of righteousness. So, we say, rest in peace, Daddy. He will always be our Father, and we will never forget you. Thank you for sharing your life with us. Thank you for showing us the way of the cross, and thank you for being our leader. Rest in peace, Daddy, Prophet, Doctor, Gabriel, Olubumi, again.